Laska Lau has been teaching ballroom dance for 25 years. Ballroom dancing, I think, is the perfect sport. It's got skill, it's got exercise, it's got music, and it's really the only public contact sport between the sexes that's legitimate. But these days, she says the floor is a lot more crowded. Ballroom dancing used to be for the older people, and you'd go into a studio and you'd see all these gray hairs. Not anymore. Two of her newest students are college seniors Brianna Carney and James Regent. I wanted to get a present for my boyfriend who's been obsessed with dancing with the stars forever. I love it. I think it's a lot of fun. I, I really I like the way it looks. I like the way you know, it feels when you're like gliding across the dance floor. It's a lot of fun. And it's not just about looking good on the floor. Doctors recommend that adults get at least a half hour of exercise three to five times per week. But some say traditional equipment just doesn't measure up to ballroom dancing. Ballroom dancing or any other form of dance can be uh, very social, can be enjoyable, can be fulfilling, uh, and not necessarily feel like work to the particular patient. So you can quick step, tango, and foxtrot your way to lower blood pressure, pulse rate, and cholesterol. All of us need to be athletes. We need to lead an active lifestyle, both for our psychological as well as physical health. And dancing is something people can do for a long time. There's grandmas and stuff out here. <laughs> They're moving around, shaking their booty all over the place. And it's kind of shocking to see that. But I mean, if they can do it, anybody can do it. These days, lots of people are giving fancy footwork a whirl. In Washington, I'm Julia Dilday.